Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. That wasn't any cooler than my other intros. I gotta think of something interesting to start doing. You should see me in a crowd. I'm gonna run this nothing to so today's video is going to be kind of a simple, quick video. It's going to be a what I eat in a day video. I know that might not sound very interesting, but I posted on my Instagram for people to send in requests of what they think I should film, and I got quite a bit of requests of people saying I should film a what I eat in a day video. That's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> if you guys follow me on Instagram, I post a lot of the meals that I eat on my story, and on my Instagram, Shell Cole, I have a highlight section on my page that is of a bunch of the food I eat during my day and during my week. Um, I usually only post the food that I get at restaurants and the food that's like presentable enough to post but a lot of it I get a lot of people replying like asking me where it's from telling me it looks really good so if you guys want to see like some of the food that I eat on the daily that is not in this video then go click on my Instagram link in the description and you guys can go check out that highlight and see some of the places I like to eat. So today is Sunday and I filmed the food that I ate yesterday which was Saturday so I'm gonna be showing you guys the food that I had throughout the day yesterday so to start my day I obviously woke up because that's the first thing you do in the morning if you don't wake up then you can't really eat because then you'd be dead which would be sad so I woke up and sometimes in the morning I'm not really in the mood to eat anything for a couple hours which I know like you're supposed to eat breakfast within the first 20 minutes that you wake up breakfast is the most important meal of the day so I know that but like sometimes Sometimes I just am not in the mood to eat breakfast. You feel me? But yesterday, for the sake of this video, I ate something that I would normally eat when I do eat breakfast. I started my day with a cup of tea that I poured some coconut milk, half and half, and then a pack of sugar into to add some sweetness. And then I started making my regular meal for the day. So I made some eggs and then I have a piece of toast. I use a low calorie toast. It has half the amount of carbs and half the amount of calories per slice. The bread that I used has 45 calories and nine carbs. So I took one slice, cut it in half on one half of the bread. I put my eggs and then on the other half, I used some cranberry jam that I got from Ikea weirdly, but it's actually really good jam. <laughs> and that is what I had for breakfast. breakfast I went to the gym and so before I went to the gym I grabbed a premier protein in the flavor of vanilla and I took that to the gym with me another protein drink that I really like is monster energy protein in the flavor of vanilla but today I went for a premier protein because they have less carbs and I've really been trying to eat not very many carbs lately so I went for the less carb option after the gym I came home and I wasn't super hungry so I didn't make like a huge meal but I just decided to make a smoothie using some berries that I had in my freezer. I used blueberries, cherries, strawberries, and blackberries. And then I just added some coconut milk in it and some half and half. And then I added some honey and some sugar packets to add a little extra flavor. To go along with the smoothie, I decided to make some low carb pasta. I used one of my favorite low carb pastas, which I just get at Walmart. And yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys about that pasta now. <laughs> Alright guys, so this pasta that I have right here is veggie made vegetable pasta. It tastes just like regular pasta with alfredo sauce, but it's made with lentil flour instead of wheat flour, so it has like half the amount of carbs. And I love this stuff. It comes with two and a half servings in each bag, but I only eat about half the bag every time I make it and then I save the rest because you can just put it in the fridge and have it later. And it's so good if you're trying to have like not as much carbs but you love pasta this is a great option and i got this stuff at walmart so you guys should all go try it because it's so yummy and yeah that's what i had for lunch a smoothie and some low carb pasta and that filled me up because i wasn't super hungry because of my protein drink so it was the perfect size for lunch 
And then I had to run some errands with my grandma, so I got ready for the day, and then I went and picked up my grandma, and we were out and about for quite a while. So by the time we were done running our errands, we were hungry, but we weren't really in the mood to go back and make something at our houses. So we decided to online order some Olive Garden, and we went to Olive Garden and picked it up and took it back to my grandma's house and ate it for dinner. So I decided to go with soup and salad for my meal, which is what I usually get at Olive Garden. Sometimes I'll get chicken, but tonight I just went for soup and salad. So I got some minestrone soup and then I got their salad with the full fat dressing And I just didn't add the croutons to it because like I said, I'm trying to do low carbs And so I just threw out the croutons and that was basically what I had for dinner and that was it I feel like it would be pointless to drag this video on and make it super long So I tried not to do that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, I will see you guys next week Thanks for watching. Bye Bye